Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Brian, like always. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Bit Phoenix Fury 550 watt Gold Plus power supply, Chanly style. The one thing I noticed right off the bat, this is the largest power supply box I have ever seen. And it also has the nano sleeve braided cables, which is a really nice upgrade for any power supply really because custom wiring is expensive. Man, alright, wow. This is some really nice packaging. They went all out with this. Do that booklet later. Accessory box. Which is alright. Buttload of cables. Five screws to install it. That might have been an accident. Usually you only get four. and Sometimes they add more than they mean to. And then the actual power supply itself. Power supply is a single rail design with, uh, like I said, nano sleeving braided cables. It's ready for the Haswell C5 and C6 power, power state ready. It has Japanese capacitors, a 135 millimeter fan, or as you can notice, it's semi modular. The cables the power supply comes with are a adapter for a Molex to floppy, in case you're still using it. A cable that has three Molex adapters, a cable that has one Molex and one SATA, one cable that has four static, SATA power cable connectors, two cables that have two SATA powers, and then over here we've got the bunch of eight pin and f eight, six, and four pin cables. So if you got your CPU, your VGAs all covered. It also, com it also comes with a split design for the e the optional 4 or 8 pin CPU connectors and if you look down here in the middle it's got the optional 6 or 8 connectors for your VGAs. Alright guys now before I wrap this up I just want to say one thing I glossed over was that the 12 volt rail is rated at 42 amps at 504 watts so it pretty much can handle an SLI configuration as long as the, the uh, cards aren't too beefy. I really do, um, I'm really impressed with this this uh, power supply. It's really showing that BitPhoenix is out there to improve the quality of things for PC enthusiasts like us. Uh, without having to go to lengths to get special cabling and all that stuff. I really enjoy this power supply and I can't wait to try it out. It is going into the uh, Pandora back here and there will be an instructional video on how to run power cables through a Pandora because it has such little space behind the motherboard tray. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for uh, coming to my video. Like always, check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Twitch. Give me a like in this video, leave your comments down below. There should be a link for this power supply in the, um, in the description. Um, once again, thanks for checking out my unboxing of this uh, power supply, Chanley style. Oh,